All right, so in the previous video, we made a query, we populated the list of article blogs and saved all. Now we're planning to load up comments on each associated article blog. So keep in mind that each comment has a particular student. Obviously, using one level populate that we use here is not so useful when we're dealing with several or more associations at the same time. So we do have to be careful when doing more than one association because it can harm the duration or just, well, just draw out the queries. And in the long run, you don't want to screw the pooch. So we're going to create another test and we're going to load up a student article blog and all the comments associated with it. This time, I only want to run this test. So delete the only from here and add this it block. Now, right nested populate. Like I said, we're going to load up just the student and article blog and comments. And lastly, the owner of those comments. As you noticed previously, we write our query as student.find1 name with Jason and add our modifier populate. The last time we passed in a string here, but we can also have an object with configuration options. So here these options will be path and populate. So path will be article blog and it'll be used to load additional resources. And in this case, Jason has a property article blog, and we're going to want to populate it. So this populate key refers to finding an article blog property and loading in the associations. So we'll write inside this populate path comments. So to sum all this up, we get the student, right? Then we take all the article blogs associated with it and then take all the comments associated with those particular article blogs. I want you to take note here that we've got to tell Mongoose which model we want to use for this, right? So we put model comment here. Now, just to have a look-see and well, see how it's doing, we'll put dot then student console log here and our done callback and we add article blog at zero to narrow down the console log so now as we can see we do see the comments of the article blog successfully but while we can see the content there's still a problem with the student because again we just see the id of the student so can you give me a clue? Just kidding. In order to fix this, it's pretty easy. We'll just, again, add another populate here to find the owner of the comment. So we add a path, student, and student model that we register to Mongoose. We save it. And again, at least this time, it's not an ID, but still no clear owner. So what are you thinking? What if we add to our console log dot comment zero to find the first comment? So here we see the comment and here we can see the name of the student and the content of the comment. Now, of course, we can go deeper and add one more by nesting populate options, but do be careful because let's say you have to use it a thousand times. So to make it a real test, we'll remove this console log statement and add our assert statement. So we assert that student name Jason, another assert is first article blog's title is MongoDB and content of the comment is well done. And lastly, we'll say student.articleblog0.comments zero.student.name is Jason. So in other words, we assert all these one by one. 
So let's save this and run the test again. And look at that, it passes with flying colors. All right, so that's it for the application. That's some good work.